Hi, it's Kyle from Bytewing Games, and today we're taking a look at Wavelength. Wavelength's a party game, and there's a lot of party games out there. The I give a clue and everyone has to guess something kind of party game, and that's what Wavelength is. So what, what, what makes Wavelength any better or any different than these other games? Let's talk about that. Wavelength's a game for 2 to 12 players that plays in about 45 minutes. Like most party games, those numbers are very, very flexible. Players will break into two teams. Team A will pick one player to be the psychic for the first round. That player will secretly look at the bullseye on this little dial right here. They will also pick a clue card. It's a spectrum. It, for example, it could be a, word, or a set of words like hot and cold. And then they are trying to get their team to guess where they are on this dial. So for example, if the clues were hot and cold, they would pick a word that would help their team to guess exactly into this spot. Let's see how this might pan out. The clue giver, or psychic, will look at the bullseye, which is just left of the center. And for a clue, they might decide to say... The 4th of July. The 4th of July is so hot, like I can't think of anything hotter than the 4th of July. Are you kidding me? The lava, the sun, there's so many things that are hotter. It's like towards the middle. Mm, no, that's like a lukewarm bath. That's not like that hot. It's got to be a little more this way. Team A will make their final selection of where they want the red knob to be. Team B now has a chance to say if they think that the target is to the right or to the left of where they guessed. Team A scores points based off of where they are on the target, so they can score two, three, or four points. Team B gets one point if they guessed correctly, whether or not the center of the target was to the right or the left. Here, Team A scored three, and Team B scored one for guessing that the center was actually to the right of the red dial. Team B now picks a player to be the psychic. They'll spin the white portion of the dial so that it moves the target. They will then look at where the target is, pick a new clue word, and give a clue to their team. And play continues until a team reaches 10 points. So, is Wavelength fun? I absolutely love the conversations that are started in this game. No matter how long you've been friends with someone or married to someone, you've probably never had the discussion of how ugly is a baby kangaroo? Or is it forgivable to steal from orphans? Or just how hairy is David Hasselhoff? Conversations like this last beyond the game, and that's what's so great is that the game isn't just contained to the 45 minutes you're playing, but it's an experience that you're having. I love the method of scoring in this game, or I, I should really say I love that there is a method of scoring. It really just gets players started in the game, so they they have some kind of a purpose to it and they're trying to win, but pretty quickly the scoring is irrelevant and you're just having a really good time. The lines between Team A and Team B gets pretty blurred because people are just having a good time guessing and debating, and, and that experience is just phenomenal. The presentation of Wavelength is top-notch. It really almost feels like you're playing a 70s game show by spinning a dial and turning a knob. It's kind of an immersive experience. And as someone who really likes strategy board games, I don't honestly always love party games. It's, it's a good time and I have a lot of fun and have a lot of laughter. But Wavelength is an awesome game because I feel like with the components and the fact that there's something on the table, it's not just a deck of cards, there's actually something there. It kind of is like a, a stepping stone for people to be more accepting of, of a board and something on the table rather than just a set of cards. And, and I really appreciate that about Wavelength. Another thing that I like is that not just one player is the clue giver. Lots of players don't honestly love being clue givers in games, especially if it's for the entire game. Like You're the clue giver this game. It's just a different, maybe not always a fun experience for that player. And even worse is when you're trying to receive the clues from a bad clue giver and you just aren't getting great clues. It's not a very fun experience for anyone. Wavelength is great because it's a one, two minute thing. You're going to give a clue and then you go back and sit down and you get to receive clues for the rest of the game. And so it's, it's just fun for everyone to have an experience to do that. I love that the setup of the game is so quick. It really is the dial sitting in the box. You open the box, you set the dial up and you're set to go. It's, it's really maybe 10 seconds up and 10 seconds to take it down. And so it makes for a really good experience and a pretty experience, but it doesn't take a long time to set up. I honestly don't really have any negatives about this game. It's 
sleek looking, it's engaging, it's very interactive. It is a party game, so it's not necessarily like the first game I'm going to pick off my shelf. But when I'm with all seven of my siblings, I'm from a big family, this is one of the first games I'll pull out because I know it's something that all of us can sit around and do and laugh and have a really good time. Overall, I give Wavelength an A+, with a little bit of a caveat. When I'm going to play a game, this probably isn't the first game I'll honestly pick off the shelf. I would really pick a mediocre strategy game over this most of the time. But that being said, if I am grabbing a party game, hands down this is the one that I'll pick up because of the experience and the laughter that it provides. I definitely give this two thumbs up and I very, very strongly recommend that you check it out. I guess the only question left is, how ugly is a baby kangaroo? Go ahead and let me know in the comments below on a percentage where you would put this baby kangaroo on ugly to cute. Until next time.